Last semester, we discussed how the autonomic nervous system regulates the activity of visceral effectors like the heart. Recall that there are two subdivisions of the autonomic nervous system. One subdivision, called the sympathetic nervous system, helps us deal with stress. Its neurons release the neurotransmitter norepinephrine at visceral effectors, including the heart. The other subdivision, called the parasympathetic nervous system, promotes maintenance processes like formation of urine uh, and digestion. Neurons of the parasympathetic nervous system release the neurotransmitter acetylcholine at visceral effectors like the heart. On this tape, you see a frog that has been doubly pithed. That is, its brain and its spinal cord both have been destroyed. In this frog, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems are no longer functioning. You see that the ventral body cavity of the frog has been opened and the heart exposed. And you see that the heart is contracting. And the rhythm of the, the heart beat is being generated totally from within the pacemaker of the heart. Right now there is no autonomic nervous system influence on the heart rate. What I'm going to do right now is get a baseline reading of the heart rate to see what the normal rhythm of the heart is without any influence of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. And I'm going to Start right now. Now I counted 18 heartbeats in 20 seconds. That means we have a resting heart rate of 54 beats per minute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mimic the effect of the sympathetic nervous system. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to apply a solution of norepinephrine to the heart and see what influence the norepinephrine has on the heart rate. Now, as this is the neurotransmitter released by neurons of the sympathetic nervous system, we would anticipate an increase in the heart rate. I've applied the solution of the norepinephrine, and we'll wait for a minute or two. We've waited two or three minutes since our application of the solution of norepinephrine, and now what we're going to do is get another heart rate to see what effect the norepinephrine had on the pacemaker of the heart. And we will start now. I counted 20 heartbeats in 20 seconds. That gives us a heart rate of 60 beats per minute. So you can see we've had an elevation in heart rate by more than 10%. So indeed, norepine norepinephrine administration to the heart did mimic the effect of sympathetic nervous system activity. And we've got an elevation in heart rate. Now we're going to attempt to mimic the effect of the parasympathetic subdivision of the autonomic nervous system by applying a solution of acetylcholine to the heart. Now what we'll do is we'll wait for two or three minutes uh, for the acetylcholine molecules to diffuse through the heart tissue and then we'll we have waited two or three minutes since our application of the solution of acetylcholine, and now we're going to get another heart rate to see what the effect uh, of acetylcholine was. 
starting now. I counted 14 heartbeats in 20 seconds. So that gives us a heart rate now of 42 beats per minute. So you can see that the application of the solution of acetylcholine slowed the heart down considerably. And indeed, we did mimic the effect of the parasympathetic nervous system. 